Good afternoon, dear colleagues and Viktor Sergeyevich. Today I'm going to talk about uh, um, an issue that is very relevant today because uh, we can tell that the the um, research um, on this topic is uh, quite uh, heterogenic and um, still there are uh, clear diagnostic techniques and uh, treatment recommendations that um, are involved uh, in uh, polyneuropathy. So first of all, what is new polyneuropathy? It's uh, mu multiple uh, dysfunction of peripheral nerves. And uh, not uh, only medicine um, involves in, in uh, is not the only cause uh, of this um, pathology. Uh, but in this case, uh, we can observe disturbances uh, in sensitivity, then uh, trophic and vegetative uh, vascular uh, disorders, and uh, so-called uh, gloves and socks uh, conditions. Uh, here, in, in cases of um, myelin sheath, uh, uh, we will observe pain syndromes, which will require some uh, corrections in uh, treatment and uh, introduction of some um, new drugs and medicine, corrective drugs. Uh, so the frequency of these cases is no more than uh, 2.4 uh, to 8% according to the recent publications. If we are talking about peripheral nervous system, uh, there are two types of impulsations, afferental and afferental. Um, the, the one that uh, provides intensive uh, sensitivity, uh, the deep sensitivity that is not only related to uh, perception of uh, tactile um, sensors, but other conditions as well. If we talk about afferent impulsations, then uh, in distal <coughs> hands and uh, legs, uh, the axons that the borders of which are in the peripheral uh, spinal cord, I'm going to talk about it uh, during the next presentation. So these peripheral axons, um, if we talk about innervation of feet or wrist, it's, um, an, it is as long as uh, one meter. So some pathological factors in systemic uh, disorders, for example, in diabetes or oncology can cause this condition. As we talk about central, um, we central per peripheral nerves, then we'll talk about um, increased uh, muscle tonus. So usually they are combined. Uh, the fibers, the, the nerve fibers that um, uh, ensure motor function, uh, they will involve um, disturbances of, in, in movement, regulation of movement, and especially uh, with those fibers that are um, longer. They are ciphered by um, MKBX. Uh, so uh, not only um, words that uh, deal with uh, cytostatics. And in the end of my presentation, I will show a slide uh, that besides cytostatics includes neurotropic um, medicine. Uh, and these are two most common um, medicine used in, in Kabit, uh, in Kabaten. So when we talk about polyneuropathy, 
most often uh, we will see neurotoxicity one of the uh, main systemic complications and um, any uh, anti-tumor therapy will cause this and quality of life is one side and um, as for the importance uh, of it uh, they can be different uh, they can they can have caused problems in patient uh, when patients sleep or move then neurotoxicity in uh, peripheral neural systems uh, then we're talking about correction of uh, in, in case of severe um, complications uh, we are talking about um, corrections in treatment modification of doses and uh, but uh, prevent neuropathy uh, uh, is impossible uh, according to the recent uh, studies but we can minimize the effect of it so f if we look at this criteria um, that allow us to determine the severity of the case uh, this will determine further treatment of the patient uh, in case of um, severe cases, uh, we will uh, correct the treatment, of course. As for cytostatics, when we talk about uh, medicine-induced polyneuropathy, uh, uh, that was caused uh, by anti-tumor uh, treatment, the number of drugs increases every month, every year, and the uh, regimen of treatment change and um, they, all, they have different types of toxicity. So chemotherapy is used as an um, anti-tumor treatment but it also causes some neurons, it has neurotoxic effect it uh, affects uh, protein generation, receptor, genera uh, receptor activity too. So the mechanism of action sh is shown on this slide. There is uh, this, this disruption. Um, it's indirect, related to vascular disorders and uh, psychosomatic disorders as well as infections and uh, miele su suppression. Another uh, disturbance that manifests itself um, in case of uh, invasion, uh, invasive tumor, nodes, uh, invasion of tumor in uh, nervous uh, fibers, uh, metastasis. It's not very common, but uh, it's uh, relevant too. And also, a situation uh, may involve the influence of all these factors. So, the high risk uh, is linked to um, heredity, hereditary and um, acquired polyneuropathies than in patients with uh, diabetes. We also notice that patients with uh, diabetes are more prone to ischemia uh, polyneuropathy. Uh, if they, for example, so, plexopathia can be manifested, may be quite prominent uh, in, in these cases, uh, as well as um, alcohol consumption and also early injection of uh, neurotoxic drugs. Besides, high risks to, uh, of uh, peripheral neural system uh, failure disruption is linked to um, cytostatics use. Cerebral 
complications, encephalopathy of various etiology, then uh, toxic influence on central nervous system, once again, alcohol consumption, uh, senior age, and the contraindication is also uh, the period of uh, one to three months after the, the uh, onco treatment. And the regimen uh, can be different uh, depending on the case, uh, half a year, one month, etc. So, as for the um, progress of the disease, uh, they can be different. It can be different distal, uh, sensorial. According to our experience, I'm going to show you a diagram with the results of the analysis of our patient and uh, most of them uh, have this uh, sensory uh, type of disease and then motor uh, motor progress the decrease uh, in uh, muscles so weak muscles and um, one of our patients in children ward uh, had a differentiated diagnosis and uh, she was weak uh, but but the um, pain in trophic muscles of feet um, allowed us to say that it is the damage in peripheral nervous system then vegetative uh, disruption and that's what we usually see in diabetes Encephalopathia happens uh, not that often and um, it's related to convulsive syndrome, a disruption in consciousness, coordination disruptions. As for, uh, as for the uh, consciousness um, failure, uh, disruptions, it can be very different uh, depending on the uh, state of the patient and can cause even uh, coma. Then the uh, feelings of uh, electri electricity coming through the body and also psychovegetative disruptions and effective uh, disruptions. The factors that uh, influence a neuro neuropathy and um, we don't have much time left, so now we are preparing methodic um, books about the uh, uh, the causes and the neuro uh, neuropathy. Then uh, here. Um, we will offer you recommendations. Neuropathic uh, pain is one of the clinical manifestations and um, for, uh, for these patients non-steroid uh, medication is not very relevant. It has a, a, a little bit different uh, way of action, anti-convulsants are better in this case. Vegetative uh, disorders. In oncology, uh, the uh, medicine that is most, uh, the most relevant in this case, uh, on this uh, slide, and uh, now we see that there are radio radiation disorders uh, especially in uh, radiation of uh, uh, pelvic areas and um, pain uh, disorders uh, are very difficult to treat in this case and this is the problem that requires uh, more research and data um, to choose the relevant treatment. The methods of diagnosis to verify the process, it's clear that uh, clinical anamnestic 
uh, connection is very important. As for electrical diagnosis, uh, it's important in patients with diabetes. Up to 90% of um, cases is uh, up to uh, by 90% of cases in these patients, uh, the um, diagnosis uh, is given in a more accurate way. So, but if there is polyneuropathy, uh, it's not necessary to uh, provide this type of uh, test. Uh, neurospinal uh, tests. Uh, liquid is important to take in case of biopsy of nerve and functional probes, uh, pharmacological and physical factors are used. This is uh, our study made on 30 patients. We we didn't uh, do the analysis among the patients who come for consultations. Uh, we then studied the uh, outpatient uh, patients, and we see that uh, the, the most common complaint is uh, the sensory manifestations or combined neuropathy, especially um, in those cases when uh, patients are not treated, do not have any aggressive ways of treatment, um, anti-tumor treatments. Uh, these are the medicine that can be involved in the treatment of uh, polyneuropathy. Peripheral neurosystem is uh, the type of uh, um, areas of the body that are very stable, so it's very difficult to to treat. But if we uh, see this type of manifestations, so uh, this requires a lot of attention and uh, choice of treatment. As uh, for the uh, uh, medicine, this uh, vitamin B, group B, Combilipen, combilipen tops, that's what we use. Uh, Benfotiamine, uh, short term therapies. Uh, it can be given in the first days of treatment in pills. As uh, then, according to re recommendation, uh, we use alphalifoid um, acid. It has two forms, injection form and uh, pill form. We see that even the patient uh, with uh, um, weak manifestations of uh, sensitivity, insensitivity, uh, they can be given uh, the, the medicine even uh, with um, Mm. So, um, this is the recommendations, 107 form of uh, convalescine, convales. so this is the optimal form. So that uh, patients will tolerate the dose better and there is a gradual uh, increase of the dose, the maximum doses in our case. Uh, show that pain manifestations are minimal in their incidence, but uh, here you see a diagram at pain uh, syndrome, neuropathic uh, medications is uh, neuropentin or alpha lipoic acid, which can be recommended to the patients in peripheric system disorder.